Eric just started hitting me up for the NFT project, man. And I'm when did that start? Like a couple of months ago. When was it? Uh, I've been uh, on his ass ass <laughs> since like no, uh, early November. Like okay. Randy, get back to me, bro. We gotta get this thing going. We got this thing uh, going. Uh, on. But yeah. uh, but it took a while uh, to get him on board. But I, I'm yeah, because it's it's tough for uh, a lot of times. A lot of graffiti guys will not understand what um, what NFT is. You know, I did you understand a hundred percent what the NFT is? Now that I'm in it, yes, definitely. I've learned so much. I've learned the value of it, not just the value of um of you know owning one, owning one or or making money out of it, but mostly the community. You know, uh, the community is really dope. Like, it starts with a money interest interest first. Yeah, but uh, then for most f- people, yeah. and then you fall in love with the community. That's yeah. The, the, that's and then and then yeah. this Twitter uh, space thing oh, is it's so, so addicting. <laughs> it is so amazing, right? Because yeah. you were doing traditional social media. You can think about it. There was no social media, but tra- traditional marketing. Two thousand and seven. You're saying yeah, filling up lines and all of that. Now because of social media, you're gonna be people filling up lines. Yeah, in the metaverse world, maybe you know. Yeah, yeah, it's it's crazy because the social media world now. Yeah, because back then it was just it was just a solo man action. So it was basically me doing my marketing myself, calling galleries, you know, getting the contract going. Um, and don't get me wrong, a lot of times they did me wrong. So uh, gallery owners that stole a lot of art from me and money, you know, one of the last projects it was amazing because. I literally sold more than half of my art show. I was like, great, I'm gonna make good money right now. She she stole everything, the owner of the gallery. Oh, wow. Everything, everything. She even stole canvases that there were- She literally like robbed you? Robbed me, yeah. Did you and then she or something? The problem was that with her, it was a trust thing. And I didn't do a contract. You didn't do her. a contract, yes. oh my God. And then the problem was that, that, that right away she put a restriction order against me so i couldn't get close to the gallery i mean that's that's also um, another benefit we can call it now with the nfts right because you draw it right pets are us that's that's a signature nobody can steal it by the way you want to get her name out there so we can find her and track her down <laughs> i'm kidding you know, i'm kidding no no <laughs> it's okay you know I, I always say you know what what goes around comes around, yeah, yeah. you know. But that's a hundred percent true. There's always God that, that watch. Thing. Time exposes you or promotes you. Yeah, that's the way it is. Actually, what happened with her and that sucks. Uh, a few months later, she had to close her gallery. Mm. She didn't make it no more. Like I say, because she uh, wasn't the creator. She was the stealer. Exactly. And then it, it's it's amazing how um, a lot of people do a lot of dirty things out there, you know, and they don't yeah. they don't get exposed, and then eventually. You know, when they do this, is because she did it to too many people. So she, she, read, her name was already out there. Awesome. So, so right now that that you already got us a little bit with the background and everything. You know, a lot of people that are listening to your story, they're gonna be very interested of knowing a little bit more of how Petsaras actually got created. Mm-hmm. Because, like Eric was saying, a lot of people maybe are interested because oh, may, maybe money motivation. Mm-hmm. But when I see the the art. There's going to be a lot of people like myself that are going to be very interested in owning this, not because of the money, but motivation, but actually the art itself. Maybe having this in a nice big wall, you know, in your room, you know, it's going to be, that's the new, that's the new art. It's amazing what's going on. And I love what, what, what's being created. So I would love for you a little bit more about, about that. But before also we go into that, the community also, you were mentioning the community, you have being part of that uh, street art community that is so powerful also. And then what i love one of the things that i love when i was speaking to eric about pets are us is about how one of parts of the roadmap is to give uh uh what is uh to animal rescue you know five percent to the animal rescue that's amazing because you know we we sometimes we focus and and i'm part of a lot of charities uh to kids or to schools or to uh older people elder elderly people but maybe we're not i haven't really done one for animal rescue, mm-hmm. you know? So that for me, I was like, yeah, I, I want to do that because mm-hmm. it's part of something that I would love to do. Mm-hmm. But now b- being part of this community, you're also helping animal rescue. Mm-hmm. So animal rescue, street arts, community, and w- what is also the value? Maybe people are looking into that also. So maybe you want to talk to us a little bit, I don't know if it's Eric or, or Randy, about before we go actually into the actual art, which is I would love for you to talk to you, uh, us a little bit about different characters and all of that 
because it's amazing how you, uh, everything is created. I want you to talk about that. But but before you go into that, it's like how how did it all start with Pets for Us? Like what was the vision behind all of that? So basically, what happened was that um, Eric came to me and he was like, "Hey, let's let's start a project," and you know, and then uh, what's it called? Um, at that moment, I was creating um, like this character with the dogs and the head. You know, I've I've been doing that for a while. But this I, right here. yes. And then it basically what happened was that I, I was doing that at the moment when he was like, Hey, we should start something with that. Mm -hmm. And then it was kind of cool and amazing. And I was like, yeah, you know what? Let's, let's go for it. Because as an artist, I want to feel like I'm, fr I'm freely to create what I want to create. Uh, you know, every artist wants to do that.